Hello, welcome to Just Prime. As part of this video, we are going to see how to use Spring AI by using RAG pattern and then how to interact with your own database or your personal database and a specific set of tables. So how to chat with that. So that we are going to use. So basically what I'm trying to say here, we are going to use Spring AI RAG pattern and by using this, we are going to interact with your specific database and a set of tables and we can able to ask the query our question and it will generate automatically the corresponding queries and it will extract the data from your tables and it will display to you so this kind of chat with your database pattern can able to build with by using spring AI. so to build this system so what we are going to use it so first of all we are going to use spring AI module and to get the AI capabilities and the second one is Spring Data JPI. So this we are going to use it to interact with the database. So database template we are going to use it so to interact with the database. And the third one is we are going to use the MySQL database to create the tables and to store the user and student related databases. And the third one is Olama. We are going to use it. So this is mainly we are using it to run the models in your local system instead of running into clouds we are not going to use any external uh, models we are going to use the local models which is running in your local machine so that we no need to pay any money and the fifth one we are going to use the llama 3 models llm models we are going to use it so these are the five things we are going to, need to configure it so the first step we are going to create a simple a spring boot application which will include all these dependencies so that we are going to see it so let me create a simple a spring application by using spring starter.io so i have opened here spring starter.io and i'm going to use java maven 3.4.io and let me give the package so com.test.drag.tv so this is my package so i'm going to give spring a, a rag iphone db so this is my artifact name so let me give the package name same as your artifact name i'm going to give so now let me come back to the uh, dependency so i'm going to give the first one is web module spring web we are going to use the rest controller with that we are going to interact with your services the next one is mysql we are going to use mysql database corresponding database the next one is so spring data jpa so we are going to interact with the database by using jpa the third one is we need to run the models with the olama which is running locally so these are the mainly four dependencies we need it so by using this we are going to generate a simple a spring boot application by using these four dependencies and also we are going to use the java 17 so when i'm creating this video so this is the which is suitable a spring version 3.4.io so this one we are even going to use it so now what i'm going to do it by i'm going to generate the a spring project so now the project is ready so let me go back here let me extract this one so now our basic spring project is ready so now let me import this one into my eclipse so with that our basic template project is ready a spring project is ready so now the second step is we have to run our olama in your local machine so what i'm going to do so in my locally olama is already installed so i am just going to run the llama 3 llm model so in that so how to run this one so in currently in my machine olama is already installed It's already installed and we can see the version as 0.5.7 so now to run the llama models llama 3 models we have to use the command call llama run 
lama3 so this is the command we have to use lama run lama3 and press enter so what it will do it will try to import the LRM model if it is not available in my machine but it's already available so it will not import anything it will just directly run it if you want to see which models is available let me open another command window so you can see llama 3 is already available in my machine and it's seven it's somewhere 4.7 GB now we can see so this llama model is running if you want to test it you can say here hi and it will try to give the answer so it's trying to give the response back so that means llama model is running in your machine now the second part is you should create a tables corresponding to student and course so we are going to use a student and course related on but in my case i have already created the set of tables let me show you the tables what we are going to use it so this is mysql i have already installed just to save the time i have already created set of tables you can see here this is the test db i'm going to use it inside that we can see not this one so we are going to use spring ai and we can see so this is the tables so we are going to use the spring ai and inside that course students and student and the course so first under course what we are going to do let me fetch the course so under course we have installed or we have inserted set of courses and inside the students we have inserted set of student names and for each student we have assigned some of the courses the corresponding relation we kept it over here so these are the three relationships we can see we have already inserted so this is the schema of the student and course and the student course relationship and these are the some of the set of data i have already inserted this so these scripts you can able to find in the video description in the below and some of the indexes i have created to improve the performance so this is about mysql databases and corresponding student course and relationship tables okay so this is ready now you have your llama models are ready and your mysql database is ready and the basic spring project is ready so now let me go back to the spring project so this is the spring project if you see here right so we can able to see so this is our basic project so now what i'm going to do here I'm going to create a simple controller called student controller student course controller so this is the student course controller and then I'm going to create student course resource so these are the two classes which we are going to use it one is controller and another one is resource finish it so i have created the controller and i have created the resource so these are the two controller and re controller and resource now let me write some code inside the controller and resource and then we are go i'm going to explain how to um, use how to interact these resource and controller so let me write it yes now if you can see right now i have written some of the code in the controller class and then student resource so now this is the student resource which will take the question as input and so this is the prompt we are going to use it inside that we are going to use the student course and student course relationship so these are the prompt inputs we have to give it and these are the tables it will try to access it and the question user question will take as an input and it will it, and some of the conditions we are trying to give we, it will execute only select query and it will not execute any delete or update so that's the reason we are giving some of the 
a prompt instructions and and then we are going to call the okay this is the prompt as per the prompt we are giving the question what user is asking and then we are going to get the response from the Olama model and basically after that it is trying to give the SQL query along with some additional things and from that we are going to clean up the response to extract the original question original SQL query what we are expecting once you got the SQL query we are going to remove if there is any or we are going to throw the exception if there is any update or delete thing is there okay once that is done so finally we are going to execute the query to get the results so now we can come back to the execute query and we are going to use the JDBC template we are going to execute it and then we are going to fetch the results and we are going to convert into the simple HTML table format because we are going to return the HTML as a response in the controller so that's about this one it's a simple very simple one there is no complex stuff over here now come back to the controller part so inside the controller we are just calling your resource and we are converting entire the response into the text HTML such a way that user can able to see the written data into the table format so that's about the controller part now come back to the properties so now if you see these properties right so we have not written anything over here so we need to add some more configuration and details related to your models and where your olama is running and what's a, a database url and password all those things we need to configure it so let me configure it that's now you can see i filled some of the details in the properties file i can see here which model you are using it and uh, so embeddings we need to enable it after that we can see which model we are trying to use it llama 3 latest 3 after that we can see the database url username password and some of the ibernet basically it is not required basically we are not trying to do any database operations so we can remove it so that's about of this one so now basically what we are trying to say here so your configuration is ready now we are good for test so let me install the project once let it download all the dependencies once that is done we can able to run your project and we will test it we can pass some of the query and we will expect the answer so now we can see the build is success we don't see any issues so the jar got created the snapshot jar got created so now let me run the project so now I'm going to run the spring boot main application and once it is run successfully we can able to send some of the queries to your chat application rag pattern DB application and then we can see how it's going to respond it now we can see application is running successfully under port 8080 okay now our rest controller we can able to access it so to be just before accessing our rest control we can see this one it's the rest controller we are mapping with the chat and after that we are giving a resource as ask and it's running under get method and we have to give the question so then this question will be passed to your resource and then you will be getting the response as a HTML text and we are going to see it so let me run it back yes now we can see finally we got the results back we can see here so it's listing all the students which is available inside the database you can see let me go back to your database and let me students if you see here right so this is the students you can run it and these are the Ram, Morali, Manoj, Shiva, Shrujan so these are the some of the students which it got enrolled now let me ask another question list out all the courses so before giving the response let me go back to the our database and let me check the courses so we can see here 
so these are the courses is available so java oracle react js spring ai and cloud so now let me yes you can see here now we got the response as java oracle react js spring ai and cloud so let me ask a different question who enrolled give me the list of students who enrolled java so i'm asking a simple question give me the list of the students who enrolled java course so let's see what's going to respond so before it's going to respond now let me go back to our controller and we can see the real-time queries how it is generating we can see the question and the corresponding query generated query we can see here the question and the generated query now we have asked another question give me the list of the students who enrolled java so this is the query it got generated we can see the query right so this is the way we are giving we are asking in a plain text and that is using nlp to convert the question into understandable format then it's generating the sql query corresponding to that one and it is giving the response if you see here so manoj and rob so these are the two students who enrolled the java so let me verify that one if you go back over here right so the java id is four and now let me come back here four is we have assigned four for two people course id for four and six who is the four and six let me go back here four is ram and six is manoj so manoj and ram so these are the students who enroll this java now let me ask another question what are the courses and en enrolled by let me check the student name morally so i'm just asking list give me the list of the courses enrolled by morally so before giving the answer let me go back here and let me check it so what's the morally id so morally id is five and now come back here set it out and five we enrolled course id called five so morally is enrolled only one course so that is called oracle now let me check what it's going to give the response. yes it's going to give the response as oracle so that means it's it is connecting to your database it is understanding the user query and it is extracting the data and it is giving back to us so this is the way you can able to chat with your a database by using the spring ai with the help of local models which is running llama 3 so it's giving the response back i think this is the way you can ask different set of questions and you can able to answer it but right now as part of this example i i can able to allow the user only the select related queries but but it's up to you if you want you can allow the users to delete update comments also but it's very risky so it's up to the use case who is going to use your application you can able to give me the permissions update or delete as well just for our demonstration purpose i just allowed only the select queries and these are the queries it got generated as part of the user chat or user questions okay i think that's all about this video so how to use the rag pattern and based on that how to connect to your personal database and how to get the answers based on your questions okay if you like the video you can subscribe to the channel for for more updates and thank you so much